Your father was a fair man, Tony. What's that got to do with Junior? Junior's not so fair. Actually, sometimes I wish you'd just get to the fucking point. What'd he do? He's taxing me, Tony. He's taxing you? When did this happen? Today. Did you tell him you operated for years without any tax? That my father loved you and respected you? That 10 cents out of every dollar that goes into his kick is directly related to your Shylock business? My uncle's been boss of the family 10 fucking minutes already. I got Ajita. What'd you tell him? Tell him the truth. It's a reasonable request, but an unreasonable figure. Oh, back up a minute. What do you mean it's a reasonable request? He's a boss now, Tony. He can call the tune. We all dance to it. It's the way it's always been done. Cash isn't only a friend of you guys. He's a friend of ours. Somebody has to step in so he doesn't get fucked. I never said fucked. And you? Frankly, I'm a little hurt. You should have come to me first, having your dirty laundry in public. Junior knew how I felt. How would it look if I went to you after I spoke to him? Now, he's got a point. Bottom line is, what are we going to do about this? Something tells me you have a suggestion. Oh, Junior. There are any flies on you, they're paying fucking rent. 500 is a little steep for back taxes, no? As far as 2% of his action, that, that's up to you to settle. Because after all, that affects Tony as much as Hesh. I'm not out to hurt anyone. God forbid I'd get in the way of someone earning. Let's say one and a half on a shy business and 300 on a back tax. 250. What I tell you, hold on to your cock when you negotiate with these desert people. <laughs> 250. All right. We want a 40% position in your HUD business. Well, because I've been on the other thing. You think you're entitled to reach into my pocket on this? That was a gesture of goodwill. Tony, we've been down this road before. We share Zellman. Therefore, any of the fruits of Zellman, we're entitled to. We done here? Fucking Ralph. Where's your point man on this thing? He missed his drops this week. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. About what we expected. Hello? Look, let's not let this thing get out of hand. We've been doing good business for a while now. Armand agrees. I agree. Well, 40%'s not gonna happen, and we all know it. I'm willing to go five and a half. Hello? Not acceptable. This guy who does the housing appraisals for Tony. Vic the appraiser, they call him. Joey! I want you to pay a visit to this Pollock Tony Soprano's got doing phony house appraisals. Vic, the appraiser. Make this guy understand that he's gonna be working for us on these shithole houses we bought in Jersey. You got it. I just now find out it's asbestos you've been dumping over there. What'd you think it was? I never asked. Tampax, the fuck do I know? Well, now you know. You and your friend there, Stefano, have been pocketing how much on this Cowboys and Indians asbestos removal? Building the townships like you're yeah, following all the EPA regulations. You got the same scam, Phil, so why don't we cut you the bullshit? How much you figure you out on this? 25%. Don't be an asshole. You know there's close monitoring at every fucking landfill. Maybe if somebody had been up front with me from the beginning. Nobody's been hiding nothing. I had the same dumping deal with what's his name? The operations manager since I've been there at Barone Sanitation. You're not there no more. I am. And you're enjoying your generous severance package. 25%. That's not gonna happen. You got a backyard? A pool? Dump it there. It's my only other suggestion. 